Disney's Pooh Visits the Doctor, illustrated by Robin Caddy. Christopher Robin says it's time for my animal checkout, said Winnie the Pooh. He's bringing his doctor's kit to Owl's house now. Doctor's kit, cried Piglet. Oh, po poor Pooh, you're sick. Sick? asked Pooh. No, I'm fine. Though I must say I am feeling a bit trumbly in my tumbly. <laughs> that must be it then, exclaimed Piglet. What's it? asked Pooh. Your tummy, it must be sick, said Piglet. Is it? asked Pooh. Isn't it? asked Piglet. Why, yes, it must be, I think, said Pooh. His tummy jiggled and jumped. Oh dear, said Piglet. Let's go together. It's so much more friendly with two. You step right in, Pooh Bear, exclaimed Tigger, who had set up a desk near Owl's front door. It will be your turn to see Owl just as soon as Rue comes out. Christopher Robin, why do I need an animal checkout anyway? asked Pooh. Silly old bear, said Christopher Robin. Not an animal checkout, an annual checkup. We need to make sure you are healthy and growing. And this time, Owl will give you a special shot to help keep you well. A shot? asked Pooh. His tummy flopped and flipped. A shot? piped Piglet. Oh dear. It's okay, said Christopher Robin. It will only hurt for a few seconds and the medicine in the shot will keep you from getting mumps and missiles and things like that. Bumps and whistles, whispered Pooh to Piglet. How awful. Awfully, said Piglet. Just then, Rue came bouncing out of Owl's house. I just had my checkup. It was easy, he exclaimed. I'll have a blue one, Tigger, please. Tigger blew up a nice blue balloon for Rue. Come this way, Pooh, said Rabbit, who was being the nurse. G good luck, called Piglet. Pooh stomped into Owl's house with Christopher Robin right beside him. Owl's house felt toasty and warm, which was a very good thing, because Rabbit asked Pooh to please take off his shirt. Let's sit you up here on the table, my fine young bear, said Rabbit. Rabbit wrapped a wide band around Pooh's arm. He pumped air into the band and it got tighter and tighter. How does it feel? asked Rabbit. Tight, said Pooh. This gauge tells me your blood pressure is just right, said Rabbit. Now step on the scale and we'll weigh and measure you. Aha! The perfect height for a Pooh bear of your age, but a bit stout. Still, nothing a little exercise won't cure. I do my stoutness exercises every morning, said Pooh. Excellent, said Rabbit. Keep up the good work. If you'll excuse me now, I have a great many important things to tend to. I'll will be right in. Christopher Robin nodded at Pooh encouragingly as Owl entered with a flourish. Well, if it isn't Winnie the Pooh, he exclaimed, Splendid day for a checkup, isn't it? I say, how are you feeling? A bit flippy floppy in my tummy, actually, said Pooh. Mmm, said Owl, let's see. Owl felt Pooh's tummy. He felt around Pooh's neck and under his arms. Everything seems to be right where it should be. Oh, good, giggled Pooh. Ah, and my autoscope is just where it should be, too, right here in my bag, said Owl. And, uh, do what? asked Pooh. Nothing more than a little flashlight, said Owl. And it will help me look in your ears. Mmm, your eyes. Very good. Your nose. Excellent. And your mouth and throat. Open wide and say, ah, ah, said Pooh. Owl pressed Pooh's tongue gently with a tongue depressor. Wonderful! exclaimed Owl. Then Owl pulled a small rubber hammer from his bag. Reflex checking time, he said grandly. What's a reflex? asked Pooh. The tiniest tap on the knee and you shall see, said Owl. Owl tapped Pooh's knee and his leg gave a little kick. 
Oh, do that again, said Pooh. That was fun. And Owl did do it again. So Pooh's other leg gave a little kick too. Now, this instrument is called a stethoscope, said Owl. It's made for listening. Listening to what? asked Pooh. Your heart beat, said Owl. Would you like to hear? Pooh listened. Thump, bump, thump, bump, thump, bump. It reminded him of a poem, a quiet and content poem, and it didn't bother him in the list when Owl said, Sit right here on Christopher Robin's lap. It is time for your shot. I know it will only hurt for a moment and it will keep me from getting bumps and whistles, said Pooh bravely. That's mumps and missiles, Pooh, said Owl. Could Piglet come in and hold my paw? asked Pooh. Absolutely, said Owl. When Owl was done, Rabbit popped back in with a bandage. That will feel better before you know it, he said patting the bandage in place. Wow, said Piglet, you didn't even cry. An annual checkup is no problem for a brave bear like Pooh, said Christopher Robin. I'm just that sort of bear, thought Pooh to himself as he wriggled back into his shirt. Pooh, said Owl, you are in tip-top shape, but that stomach of yours is a little rumbly. I prescribe a large pot of honey the moment you get home. Pooh turned to Christopher Robin. Pressing a large pot? whispered Pooh. Does that mean I can't have any more honey? It means you can have a big pot of it as soon as you like, said Christopher Robin. I'd like it soon then, said Pooh, whose tummy was feeling much, much better. TTFN. Ta-ta for now. Gold Tigger. Don't forget your balloon. Thank you, Tigger, said Pooh, and Pooh let Piglet hold the balloon as they stomp home together for lunch. Hi, if you like this video, please give this a like and hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I release a new video.